Hey guys, Ariane here. Welcome back to Let's Play Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, uh, this is actually my first recording after all of the drama basically happened. I say drama very, very loosely because it wasn't really drama, but uh, stuff went down and now it's the new year and I want to continue this. So uh, you guys didn't notice a break in between like last episode and this episode, but that's because I'm finally putting episodes out. So anyway, beside the point, I'm sure you guys don't even care. Last episode, we uh, returned here after protecting Hojo, Mr. Creeper, and I did missions off screen. And while, yes, we did uh, unlock a lot of missions. I only did a few, so I will list them in the video description as I usually do. And uh, I only got two levels out of it. I tried doing some that were listed as very hard, such as this one right here. And the random enemies were murdering me. <laughs> so, <laughs> but some of them, if you have gravity or uh, Graviga as you can get, you can get Graviga in one of these missions. Uh, you can do some of the very hard ones and be fine because uh, unlike gravity, which takes it, uh, it deals like a fourth of their HP, Graviga reduces it by half. It reduces whatever. Um, yeah, so it reduces it by half. So this is my current setup. It might change. I don't know. And I have a uh, gold armlet here because with Graviga and Dark Viraga, I was using a lot of MP and I needed more MP, so I have the MP plus 60%. And it also prevents silence, which is nice, so there you go. Now, uh, I did all the missions for this guy and I figured I could show it on screen. Uh, as you beat the missions, he comes and talks to you. Uh, in the mission itself, and is like, thanks Zach, and Zach's like, okay, you ready to take on the next one? And the guy is like, yeah, let me just be depressed and guilt trip you into helping me again. And so, uh, now we're done, so let's talk to him. I guess I'm no good after all. What happened? You tell me a lot, Zach, but I'm still screwing up. I just don't think I have what it takes to be a soldier. Hey, come on. What happened to the nail-eating guy I saw the other day? I just had to quit soldier and go back home. I heard you're quitting soldier. Yes, I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Did you find out the most important thing about being a soldier operative? No, I never did. But I do know what it is that kept me going until today. I had a dream that someday I would be a prime soldier operative just like Zack. That was the dream that kept me going this far. Hmm. There's something my mentor used to tell me when I was a rookie. He used to say, embrace your dreams. Embrace your dreams. My mentor used to help me with my missions just like Zack coped you with yours. Wait a minute, could that mentor be the most important thing about being a soldier operative? Is to embrace your dreams. My mentor taught me that. To embrace my dreams. And get premium tires! Yay! And now he's squatting. <laughs> How cute! Okay, uh, yeah, so basically Zach is pretty sure that the same- the mentor for that guy is Angeal. It's like he was Zach's the mentor, so. Okay, so now that we're done with that, uh, we want to go to the elevator. Oh, yeah, mail. Who's that from? Sephiroth's whereabouts from console. You're complaining about not being able to get in touch with Sephiroth, but he's in the data room. It looks like he's going through all the research papers on a series of experiments called Project G, as well as other experiments conducted around the same time. But Project G took place over 20 years ago, and Hollander has taken some of the data with him. I even hear that the really important data isn't even here, but hidden away in some other place. I don't know if anyone is ever going to understand the full scope of those experiments. Eh, interesting, I guess. Let's go. Okay, we want to go to... 
Uh, search the director's office. I'm gonna go talk to Lazard. Hello? There you are. Hello there, Zach. Did you want to talk to me about something? No, not really. I'm sorry, but I'm rather tied up at the moment. The attacks on our, on our building have created far too many issues that I must attend to. The security department is hounding me because Genesis, a soldier deserter, led the attacks. Sounds like a hassle. Security is busy getting ready to annihilate both Gen Angel and Genesis. Wait a minute, you didn't know that Angel was in the battle trying to protect the Shinra building. And he is still a risk factor. At least that's how the company views him. I can't believe what I'm hearing. If that's the way things are if that's the way things have to be around here, I'm leaving the company. There's always a huge high price to pay for freedom. Have you ever thought that director? Have you ever wanted to leave the company? Never. Not once. Wow, bravo. I guess that's why you're our director. When you're trying to realize a truly worthy goal, obstacles and difficulties don't amount to anything. What sort of goal are you talking about? Never mind. That's enough to chat for now. I must get back to work. Okay. Remember after that? So basically what we learned there is that uh, Angel and Genesis are now both enemies of Soldier whatever, so they're gonna get annihilated. Great! Fantastic! Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the entrance. And we want to talk to... Who are you? Okay. I don't care. Shut up. I think I want to talk to someone down here. You guys? Uh, my boss has big dreams to make our future. Isn't he inspiring? Well, he's actually a daydreamer, which isn't really the same as having big dreams. Uh, not you. You? Here we go. Do you know what it is needed for the most... Oh my god, I can't read today. Do you know what is needed most for the future growth of the Shinra company? I'll tell you what. It's Midgar's urban development. Though known as the world's greatest commercial city, Midgar, has, is, ugh, Midgar still has many problems that need to be addressed. Urban decay beneath the plate and increasing Mako energy consumption are just some of those problems. We the city planning department are committed to improving the, li the lives of Midgar citizens. But as we are an unarmed group, in certain situations we find ourselves powerless. Would Soldier be interested in extending a helping hand? Midgar is our urban development, huh? Sure, I'd be happy to help you guys. Just let me know whenever you need me. Okay, I think that unlocks more missions. Yeah, okay. Uh, we are getting a lot more missions this episode, so uh, I might do those as well off screen. Just, <laughs> I I didn't look ahead of my notes and notice there are more missions. But uh, okay, so we got that. Um, okay, I'm gonna take the stairs and talk to a Shinra soldier. I already talked to him. Whoops, I didn't show off his dialogue. I guess I could talk to him again. Let's see if he says it again. Will you say it again? No, he's saying something completely different. Okay, whatever. If you care and if you can go back and read it. Okay, and now we want to go to the exhibit room. I didn't know what it was called, sorry. I want to find someone talking or standing in front of the world map. Uh, this guy? Yeah. What are the scientists doing loafing around in a place like this? You science department puppets are not allowed to speak to me. What, puppets? Did you just say puppets? You'd better not be talking about soldier, pal. No amount of soldier talk is going to impress me. You've nothing to contribute besides your muscles. 
Hey, we're out there fighting all over the world to defend Midgar, fighting to protect you. I'd say my contributions to the world outweigh those of a geek sitting at his desk reading all day. Let me ask you one question. Shoot. Why are you here? Huh? Zach, you got a minute? What's up? Have you heard? About the recent monster outbreaks in Midgar and Calm? Sure, everyone's talking about them. Apparently, those monsters were once under the care of the science department as study samples. Really? You mean the monsters broke out of Shinra's cages? Come on, do you really think they can make it do the do this building security by themselves? Then that can only mean... The company has decided to cover this up by sending soldier operatives to eliminate the monsters. You could be called in too, but keep us all to yourself for now. Right, got it. Shinra's monsters, what's happening to this place? That was kind of suspicious, if I may say so myself. Okay. Uh, by the way, for him to appear, you need to beat um, certain missions. I'll show those off to you right now. For that guy to appear, you have to complete these. Uh, it says to do all of these up to highway closed, but I didn't have these two. So I guess you have to do these four? My notes say this one too, but I don't do appear without it, so there you go. Hmm. New missions. Uh, let's see. Now we want to head outside. No! Oh my god, this is the most frustrating thing. Okay. <laughs> Trying to leave Shinra building. Okay. Now we want to go, I think. Okay, I need to look at my map. No, no, we want to go down here. We want to head southeast. And look for a reporter near some stairs. Here we go. Ah. Oh, I thought you were with the Shinra army. Something's after me, so I'm hiding out. I don't want to look suspicious. Please, go away. Your soldier? Please, you gotta let me go. I'm not a bad person. I'm just another reporter trying to make a living. Well, you certainly don't look like a bad person. Okay. Oh, this guy, we just want to let him go. Oh, thank you. I owe you big time. So who are you anyway? My name isn't important. I'm just a journalist trying to uncover dark truths about the Shinra Company. Our readers are always searching for the truth. It's my mission to give it to them. Why don't you give me your contact info? I'll send you my articles for free. Just my way of saying things. I'm not going to tell you to stop snooping around Shinra. Just don't go overboard, alright? Yeah, I know. I'll see you around. Yay! Now we get new mail. The truth about Soldier A from the reporter. Two soldier operatives reported as killed in action were spotted alive. But Genesis and India were seen entering the app processing factory in Benora. In fact, my source tells me he saw more than one Genesis appearing, one after another in succession. Holiday of the science department was also present. One can assume that Genesis and India are involved in clandestine I don't know how to pronounce that experiments taking place at the factory. I have lo since lost contact with my source, and I can only pray that he is safe. That he is safe. Sorry, my voice is kind of weird. I apologize. But that makes a Shinra Troops folder. So yay! Okay. Now that we have him, I'm going to go to Loveless Avenue, which is back this way. Right in there. On the completely opposite end of this place. Okay, now in Lotus Avenue, we want to go straight ahead and talk to the lady in the alley up here. She was a part of the uh, Loveless group, I think. The study group compiled Genesis's interpretations of the final act of Loveless into a single volume. The royalties started pouring in as it became a bestseller. It must have been Genesis's blessing. 
Red leather, on the other hand, it is in the red. The merchandise isn't selling. Everything happens for a reason. The city group shall become the true Genesis fan club. Oh, I think you just got a mail. Alright, more mail! Mystery of the Final Act from the study group. Our self-published book on Genesis's Loveless theories has become a runaway bestseller. Let's use this momentum to move forward in our studies of the final act. The biggest mystery of the final act is what happens to the world after the gift of the goddess is given. The key to understanding this is in how we interpret the goddess in this context, but experts still cannot come to a consensus. There we go. Okay, and, uh, can we do this now? Uh, okay, sure, why not? Uh, I don't really know how this is initiated. I hope I just do this. I hope. Is it this guy? Slope up, you can hit under 40 miles per hour, you know? And it's good, of course, but secrets in the tires. Is this right? Is this northwest? No, I think it's further up. There's someone I need to find. He's not here. Yeah, how do I initiate this? This is so weird. This guy? Soldier? Nothing, it's nothing. I'm a c c civilian and I'm very busy. Don't talk to me. Yes, this is it. You're gonna talk to him three times. Soldier? I right, said the exact same thing. Talk to him again. Uh, is this not working? What the, what? Pretty sure that was him. Is it this guy? Huh. Interesting. I will be right back while I figure this out. Okay, I have figured it out. You need to talk to the soldier guy up here. I am pretty sure. What are you doing here? Something the matter? Zach, did you know? Remnants of the Wu Tai are on the move to form an anti Shinra organization. The Wu Tai? Really? Yes, it's evidently being formed by their special ops force, the Crescent Unit. And the spies have already infiltrated Midgar. Are you serious? We now know that there are six of them trying to blend in here in Midgar. We're scanning every area based on our intel, but we haven't managed to find one yet. Uh, I'll help you look for them. We appreciate your help. Then let's split up. Here are clues on the first spy we want to catch. We know he's somewhere in Sector 8. If you find anyone suspicious, please detain him on the spot. The Wu Tai are masters of disguise. Don't let their looks fool you. As uh, expired as Wu Tai, uh, six spies from Wu Tai are somewhere in Midgar disguised as civilians. Find the Wu Tai spies, obtain information on the Crescent Unit. Alright, and now that we've talked to that soldier, now we can go back to that suspicious civilian <laughs> and finally do this. I'm really sorry about that. I don't usually mess up like that, but uh, my notes didn't mention that soldier. Alright, so we've already seen that. Talk to him again. What is it? I thought I told you not to talk to me. Okay, one more time. Curses have been found out. Zach here, I, find a, I found a Wu Tai spy. You're not going anywhere. That's it, you have nowhere to run. I knew we could count on you, Zack. We're currently interrogating the Wutai spy about the remnants. If he drops any clues as to their location, that equals a mission for us. Here's some information on the second spy. This one is dressed in a full Shinra army garb and even managed to sneak into the Shinra building. We've been searching for him in Sector A, but there's no sign of him. Now that we know what he looks like, I doubt he would return to the Shinra building again. Alright, so this guy, let's see. Oh, by the way, um, after you catch one spy, so that guy, uh, you unlock some new missions, so you can go do those. 
Okay, so the second spy is... Okay, so, um, for those of you who would like to return to the slum market for whatever reason, you can, and I will show you how. Okay, so from here, you want to head east, so this way, up these stairs. We have mail, but I'll check it later. And we have a Sector 1 station platform here. Now we're not going to have an awesome cutscene going on a train, you literally just walk over. And here are the Sector 5 Slums Market. <laughs> There's no overall map and you don't go anywhere else but between these two areas, so... Oh, Angel's here. Angel? Where have you been? Apologies, but I'm, I'm a busy man. Yeah, whatever. I haven't been able to contact Sephiroth either. Has something happened? Not really, he's just been holed up in the data room, reading old reports and such. I see. Hey, now where are you off to? I just don't know with you these days. Genesis and Hollander and Modeoheim. You came to tell me that? Are you actually working? I'm still so at heart, I suppose. I have informed Lazard as well. They'll come pick you up soon. Oh, you better let me finish my side quests first. Alright, so <laughs> now that we're back here... Um, let's see, you're looking for a, here we go, here he is, this guy! Ah, uh, you're, oh, nothing sir, a mission about inf infantrymen on patrol, on patrol, I can speak words, no I can't. I'll clear a soldier, sir. What's this guy want? I wish he wouldn't talk to me. It's because of guys like him that we lost so many of our own. No suspicious! Uh-oh, he's on to me. Zach here, I found a Wu-Tai spy. You're not going anywhere. As you said earlier. There you are, dirty spy. I knew we could count on you, Zach. We're currently interrogating the Wu-Tai spy about the remnants. If he drops any clues as to their location, that equals a mission for us. Here's some information on the third spy. This one seems to have made off with the classified information by sneaking onto the soldier floor. Based on how brazen he is, he could be disguised as someone who has business with Shinra. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. We want to return to Shinra for this one. Or, yeah, Shinra headquarters for this one. Uh, we'll be back here soon, uh, but we need to go back to Shinra first. Okay, this is the amount of exploration you get. Literally. These three areas. <laughs> Outside of missions and like storyline missions and stuff like that. All you get to do is just go around the... What is it? Sector 8? And Sector 5? And Shinra HQ. That's about it. The game isn't about exploration. <laughs> Sadly, I would have loved to have had more exploration, but I, I understand that there are a lot of missions. A lot of missions. <laughs> so much side quests. Uh, so they probably just couldn't fit into it on top of all the amazing cutscenes, so. Okay, so we'll not go up these stairs to the elevator. Walk up to the elevator. And then walk away. I want to talk to this guy. Blast it! I'm on the wrong floor again. Could the Shinra Company have possibly built a more convoluted building? I mean, how could a building as giant as this only have two elevators? It's ridiculous. I'm severely directionally challenged. I always get the floors wrong everywhere I go. There's nothing suspicious about me. Please stop looking at me like that. I already told you once, I am... What? The jig's up. Alright. And we've already seen all this. I knew we could get on these, Zach. Yeah, we've already seen all this. Next clue, please. There's a distinct 
there is a distinct possibility that this one is disguised as a woman. This one is also a sucker for money, apparently, but that's not much to go on. Alright, so the fourth spy, you want to head back outside to Midgar. Uh, and you want to head east, so straight ahead. Up these stairs. And there should be a lady up here. Here we go. Mm, I don't know. His face and some three stars. The rest is up to what's in this wallet. What is it? Are you trying to pick me up too? Soldier. I hope he goes away soon. Alright, third time. What do you want, soldier man? What? You know? Alright. And that's the fourth spy. Two more to go. I apologize for the slightly lengthy episode, but I wanted to get these out of the way. Um, there's one more thing I want to do after we catch the rest of these spies, but it shouldn't take too, too long. And then we can go and move on to the story! That's why I wanted to stick all this into this episode, because I wanted to have storyline stuff next episode. Alright, fifth spy. Intel says that this is this one is not from Wutai, so the spy likely has other reasons to hate Shinra. It's possible the spy has somehow involved- is somehow- what? what? It's possible that the spy was somehow involved with the space development department. Okay. So now I'm gonna head back into Shinra. Which way am I going? Okay, I'm gonna go back into the exhibit room. So this way. Go in the door. And find the guy standing in front of the spaceship. Or a rocket. Whatever. So this Sid has supposedly begun training already, but it should have been me in the cockpit. Shouldn't took away my dreams of going to space. I'm never going to forgive them for that. Mm, this guy sounds better. Do I have a grudge against Shinra? You bet I do, so what of it? What, you know? Alright. I thought he wasn't from Mutai. I guess he is. Maybe he's just wearing the armor. Alright, final spy. This one apparently has a grudge against a soldier operative who was in the Wutai operation. That probably means you, Zach. But it's all we know at this point. If he's not in our intelligence network, that might mean he specializes in espionage. I hope I said that correctly. I don't know. <laughs> Fancy words like that go right through, right over my head. Those are the elevators. I want to go back. Okay, this guy uh, is all the way at Slum Street. Uh, I would say I'd meet you guys there, but it really doesn't take that long to get there. No. Alright guys, uh, we are here at the Slum Street. Uh, I decided to meet you guys here since I showed off how to get, uh, how to get back to the slums uh, earlier. So, now that we're here, we're going to go through this hole. Alright, yeah. Go through this hole. To the park. And we'll talk to the boy here. I'm a proud Wutai trooper. I can take the whole Shinra army. Soldier can't beat me. What do you want? I'm a Wutai trooper. Are you afraid of me now? Uh, what is it, big guy? Dang it, they got me. Alright, that was the final one. Alright. 
We have managed to apprehend all of the Wu Tai spies. It's all thanks to you, Zach. All that's left now is to crush the Wu Tai remnant spaces. And we get a walnut wood for that. Awesome. Alright, now one last thing I want to do here before ending the episode off. I'm going to find this lady. You're really lucky. I'm, I'm a member of the premier hardcore Sephiroth fan club, the Silver Elite. The Silver Elite? Some people don't even think we're real. It's a miracle that you have the chance to join. Only we can choose who becomes part of our club, and we recruit members twice a year. Uh, is that so? Then let's begin the entrance exam. Are you, aren't you supposed to ask me if I want to join the- Question 1. What is the name of Sephiroth's sword? I guess not. You better answer before the time's up. Alright, the answer to this, if you don't know, is the Masamune. Correct. Question two. What is the name of Sephiroth's ultimate attack? This is the Supernova. Correct. Question three. In which hand does Sephiroth hold his sword? His left hand. Correct. Congratulations. You are now a chosen member of the Silver Elite. Oh, looks like you got your first mail. Okay, let's check out the mail that we got. We got this one from something, we were just walking around. So, analysis of the Midgar attacks from Shinra News. The recent attacks came in two stages. The first stage was the attack on headquarters in the entire Midgar, Midgar region. Our forces were dispersed to respond to these initial attacks. The second stage consisted of additional attacks on headquarters as we attempted to recover. Although the damage was dealt, although the damage that was costly, its overall impact on company operations is minimal. Heidegger, Director of Security. All right, and this is from the Silver Elite, the scent of Silver Winds. Dear members of the Silver Elite, in this update, we present another piece of Sephiroth trivia, the secrets of, to his beautiful long hair. The hair products he uses are of the highest grade made and supplied by the Shinra company. He seems to use one whole bottle of both shampoo and conditioner every time he washes his hair. They are scented with 13 kinds of perfumes, including rose and vanilla. Apparently, the scent in the, hair in the air after Sephiroth tosses his hair changes daily. That is kind of creepy. He uses so much shampoo. I don't even use that much shampoo when my hair is long. And my hair is about as long as his is. Whatever. Alright, so with that, um, I'm going to return to the market so I could save. And I will meet you guys back there in the next episode. We will finally continue with the story. Oh, because I'm super excited. Because I am. I am definitely excited. Oh my gosh, my excitement. Okay, so. Again, I apologize for the slightly long episode. Actually, it's a really long episode. <laughs> But uh, I wanted to get the rest of the side questy stuff out of the way now. So that way next episode, like I said, can be story stuff. Yay! So, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Fantastic day. Hopefully I can learn to talk by next time. Thank you so very much for watching this. And I'll see you guys then.